Good morning. So in this week's Torah portion, besides mitzvahs, Abayin Adam, Lachaveirayv, Timan, and friend, and different Ezekin, we have also the mitzvah of the holidays, that we have to keep the holidays. One distinct thing over here is with these, with the holiday of Pesach. In other places which he mentions Pesach, he doesn't mention that it's the first or the first fruit that the ripens, the first fruit of the ripens. We are not talking about here the era of spring. We're talking actually about the Tvua. Which that is, we have to bring the carbon after Pesach. And that's why Rashi explains that it has to do with the first month. And not speaking actually about the Jews leaving in the most possible best way. So we see a thing over here is that Pesach is a very important holiday. It's a holiday that we strengthen our Amuna that he took us out of Egypt. We remember it not only by thought, not only by speech, but also in bringing a carbon, the time of the Beis Hamikdash, and eating matzah on Pesach. That is the uniqueness of Pesach. Other holidays we don't actually eat. We eat cheesecake. Ashruis. But matzah for the redemption from, from Mitzrayim, we actually eat matzah. And every single day we have to remember Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim, the leaving of Egypt. Every day we have to internalize the idea that God took us out of Egypt. And not just Egypt, of Mitzrayim, but all the limitations that we have in exile also. So every limitation God takes us out of. And that's what we have to have complete faith in God. That no matter what situation we are, we always have to have faith in God that God took us out of Egypt and made us free men in order to fulfill Torah and Mitzvahs. And as we see also that an Eved, a Jewish servant, which wants to stay longer than six years, because that is the limit, that is the time that Torah says an Eved can be a Jewish slave, can be a slave for six years. Let's say he wants to stay longer. Torah says he must, uh, he must puncture his ear to tell us that you cannot be a slave to anyone. Since God took the Jews out of, out of Egypt. So we became a nation of God. So Be'ez Hashem, by strengthening the Muna by Yidin, went be the Muna by yourself. 
or whether emuna in the world. Because the whole idea of Pesach in order to bring the carbon of Eimer, which that is in the world, and as we know, that to bring the carbon of Eimer, you can actually add another month of Chodesh Adar if the Eimer was not yet ripened. So we see that our Muna has to be also in the field, on the outside also. And we have to strengthen our Muna by Jews all over, which that is his Etzem Hanefesh, the essence of his soul to reveal. And by revealing the Muna to every single Jew, that our faith in God is higher than Seichel. Our faith in God has no connection to Seichel. And therefore, no matter what situation we are in, Hashem can take us out of every exile. And through the Muna and Hashem, Hashem will not just take us out of Mitzrayim, not just take our, us out of our personal exile, but take out all Yidin by the Gula Amitis Vashlema, and even in time of the Gula Amitis Vashlema, we will also remember Yitzhiyas Mitzrayim. So Be'ez Hashem will have the Gula Amitis Vashlema empty right now. Long live our master, teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master, teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever. Long live our master, teacher, and Rebbe King Mashiach forever and ever.